3rd of September, 2004. Beslan's number one school is overrun by Chechen separatists. More than a thousand children and adults are held captive. Russian special forces storm the building, but the siege leaves 331 dead, 186 of them children. This is the archetypal terrorist act. Calculated violence aimed at innocence for political ends. We not only had to deal with murderers, but with people who used weapons against defenseless children. But many terrorists describe themselves as freedom fighters. The aim of our operation in Beslan was to stop the war, stop the genocide of the Chechen people, and force the withdrawal of the Russian occupying troops. The demands became known right away. End the war in Chechnya. Withdraw the troops from Chechnya. But apparently the federal authorities didn't like that. They made it sound as if the hostage-taking had happened for no reason. After centuries of religiously motivated terrorism, many 19th and 20th century movements acted in the name of self-determination. The 9-11 terror attacks epitomized a swing in the 1990s back towards religious terrorism, even deadlier acts supposedly sanctioned by God. Muslims all over the world, I strongly advise you to sacrifice this life for the hereafter. Save yourselves from the fire and torment. Combat your religion and bring back your honor. Many analysts fear terrorists will use weapons of mass destruction, such as nuclear or biological weapons. Iran and North Korea, both states believed to sponsor terrorism, have sought to acquire nuclear technology. Any country that aims or to acquire nuclear weapon is a grave threat to international peace and security, particularly in a region like the Middle East, which is full of hostility, full of lack, full of distrust. Governments rarely give in to terrorists. Yet even more rarely do they work to alleviate the causes of terrorism, such as poverty and perceived discrimination. The more the Americans are supporting Israel, the more popular Bin Laden and, and his like becomes. In this film, we look at the current terrorist threat in a range of countries, as well as how history shapes a government's response. Gun! These tunnels are tiny. I mean, I literally, you know, you've got to really squeeze to get through. They crisscross all of Bajor. It's where the militants used to come in and hide and move around and, and store their uh, arms. From homegrown terrorists with nationalist and communist goals in the 1960s and 70s, American terrorist movements turned against the federal government in the 1980s, culminating with the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. At the same time, US citizens became more vulnerable to terrorist attacks abroad. In 1993, foreign terrorists made their first major strike on US soil. A truck bomb detonated beneath the World Trade Center, killing six and wounding a thousand. Eight years later, Al-Qaeda again attacked on US soil, hijacking four planes and reducing the World Trade